In this problem we have an infinite sum and we're being asked to determine if it converges or diverges and if it converges uh, we're being asked to find the sum. So here you have a two-thirds and it's being raised to the n minus one power so you know that this is going to be uh, geometric. So geometric series generally has this form here you have some infinite sum uh, and it's a times say r to the n. Some books might use n minus one uh, it won't really make a difference in terms of how we solve the problem. So the n minus 1 is totally okay. So r here is whatever's being raised to that power. So r is 2 thirds. And there's something called the geometric series test. And it basically says that if the absolute value of r is uh, less than 1, then our series converges. We have a convergent uh, geometric series. If the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1, then our series uh, diverges. You have a divergent geometric series. So here r is 2 thirds. So in absolute value, that's just the absolute value of 2 thirds, which is just 2 thirds, which is less than 1. So our series converges. So converges. And it's by the geometric series test. So I'm going to specify the test in the explanation. So this is, this is the solution. I want to emphasize this, that you want to be really clear in your uh, explanations. These are almost like little mini proofs. Um, so really important to justify everything logically. So it converges. So the question also wanted us to find the sum in case it does converge. So the easiest way to find the sum is the following. This is really cool. It's typically not found in books. You, you take this number and you just plug it in. So just plug it in here. And that goes up top. So it'll be 5 to the 2 thirds to the 1 minus 1, so 0, over. And then on the bottom, you just divide by 1 minus r, always. So 1 minus 2 thirds. So you always just plug this number in and then just divide by 1 minus r, always. If there's a 3 here, this also works, by the way. Just take this number and plug it in. So here, this is 1, right? It's to the 0 power, so you just get 5 over. In the denominator, we have 1 minus 2 thirds, so we want to perform that subtraction. So you can think of 1 as 3 thirds. So this is really 3 thirds minus 2 thirds. Okay, so this is 5 over, so 3 thirds minus 2 thirds, so 3 minus 2 is 1, so this is 1 third. So 5 divided by 1 third is 5 times the reciprocal, so 3 over 1. So the answer is 15. So this is an infinite geometric series that converges by the geometric series test, and the sum is equal to 15.